Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the Hater Force and other viewers of YouTube. My name is David Hater Gamer, and today I am starting a brand new Let's Play series for this game called West of Loathing. Now, if you have never heard of this game before, this is a game that I found on Steam recently. That is a indie RPG, and I don't really know anything else about it other than it looks hilarious and it looks like my type of game. Now I know some of you who are coming into this let's play probably already know a lot about the history of the developer of this game who has created a game before called Kingdom of Loathing. I have never played that game but it seems like a lot of you are really anticipating this new game here and so I am here to basically provide some gameplay for you guys who have never seen this game or have played this game before and yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy it as we play this new game. Alright, so let's start a new game. Let's see what happens. Wanted for protagonizing Ada Johnson. Okay, edit my name. I want to edit my name. Change my character, okay. Wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? What the heck? Roberta Holiday, Libby Connor. What's Dick Williams? Oh, I see. So this is um, a way to customize your characters. Sylvester Marston. Can I edit my name by myself? Enter last name. All right. Wait a minute. Let me see here. David. First name, Dead Meat. Ah, uh, yeah. You know why they call me Dead Meat David? Because if you and I meet, you're dead meat, pal. Alright. So, maybe I should have some hair. Nope, that doesn't work yet. Cub Wales, Fozzy Hartfield. Alright, I don't think the guys here have any unique names. Holy crap, this game is really loud. Alright, maybe Dead Me should be all one letter? Nope, this is a playthrough of Dead Meat David. Alright, let's play. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Cow Puncher. Okay, I punched the crap out of that cow. Bean Slinger, okay, that's basically a magic guy. Snake Oiler. Alright, well, Dead Meat David ain't no Bean Slinger. Dead Meat David ain't no Snake Oiler. Dead Meat David is known for his cow punching skills. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists. Whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disreputable Salute, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the uh, the crows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. On second thought, let's actually see everybody's description here. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the bean slinger is a mystical master of both. You've heard there's a sort of cows out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Okay, what's a snake oiler? Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract point oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. Okay. So I'm guessing you're the standard RPG people, which is basically like a knight, magic user, and like, I don't know, like an alchemist or something. I tend to be the type of person who goes on the offense in my RPG playthrough, so I'm going to be a cow puncher. Waz, my room. 
Ah, uh, yes. This weird poster appeared here one night. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you read the spine of one of your books. Johnny Smith and the Cursed Star. This was one of my favorites. The Secret of Eerie Mansion. I love that one. The Adventure at Vulture Jungle. I read that one ten times. The Miracle of the Cursed Ship. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. The Adventure at the Haunted Graveyard. I love that one. Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking stupid. Okay. Let's see here. Let's open up our inventory. Uh, okay, so here we got the standard RPG-ness here. Muscle. Muscle determines how much damage your melee attacks do. And how much damage you can take when you get hit by melee attacks. Okay, mysticality determines how much damage your ma magical attacks do. How much damage you take when magic enemies use magic attacks against you. Moxie determines how much damage your pistols do. How much damage you take when you get shot. Okay, here. So we're pretty much standard. Your stomach uh, capacity determines how many food items you need to eat before you need a nap. Also, you can't take naps. You can only go to sleep for an entire night. Hmm. Alright, here. Let's see what's walking, stupid. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking as an option. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Okay. You got a perk, stupid walking. When you were a child, you wanted to walk so badly. You finally have. Nice. Oh! Wait, what? Oops. Okay. Where is my options? Alright, then. Stupid walking. Sure. Oh, oh god! Oh. <laughs> Look at <him. laughs> This is hilarious. Alright. Good bet. Goodbye, bet. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. Oh my fucking god. By the way, I curse on this channel. Uh, goodbye, phonograph. You put the knee away from the cylinder and stole the handle away. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, finally some silence here. Goodbye, desk. You come you here one last time, you gain one XP. Nice. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Uh, feed Russell a cricket. Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell, be good. Or maybe it's time for you to leave, too. <laughs> You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Aw, oh, man. Russell was our best friend. Oh, okay, so this is how you took the menu away. Okay. Dead meat, David. Yeehaw! <laughs> how am I going to take this game seriously? All right. Oh my goodness, here we go. Nothing on the hat rack today. Can we do anything with the... Okay, so we can move with our mouse clicks. What a mess. Stack firewood. Okay. Oh, so we can move with by just dragging the mouse. Kind of a natural, but okay. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Oh no, I don't want to leave my home yet. Let's just keep exploring. I'm gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It keeps all our pies safe. You'll miss meals with the family. Jesus Christ, my walk. <laughs> you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. I have no clue what that says. Just the title gives me a headache. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. On the application to dynamics of a general math mathematical method previously applied to optics. None of it makes a lick of sense to me. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. I think this is about math, maybe? If you guys can translate those things, let me know what those mean. Alright, so there you guys go. It's your kid's brother's toy box. He loves stuff like this. Got an item, puzzle cube. Fiddle with it. Your brother already had it. Most of the way solved, but you figured out the last couple of moves. Nice. 
so tidy. It's covered with all these weird diagrams and charts. What the heck, man? I'm so done with this walking, dude. By the way, I kind of like this pseudo 3D ness. It's kind of cool. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but. Uh, oh, jeez. The one about bartering. The one about picking locks? You know what? Let's see here. What would be the most useful item here for me? Desert survival? I don't know, picking locks. You got an item, learn locks and how to pick them. Uh, please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, mom, goodbye. All right, I can tell there's gonna be a lot of reading here. I know in the, in the Kingdom of Loathing that it was like a text adventure thing, right? If I'm wrong, then just let me know. But yeah, I, I think that's where a lot of the inspiration for what this game is draws from. So there's going to be a lot of reading in here. No time to screw around the woods. Time to head west. Oh, really? Your father morsely jabbed at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. You got an item, brass knuckles. Thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Dig through haystack. You got a needle. What is this? It's not for soon. It's for picking locks. Nice. Speaking of picking locks, this book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lock picking picking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Okay. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> go orphans, go! Alright. Let's see here. Let's look at my character. We got, we got some combat skills here. Beef up. Tap into your inner wellspring of beefness, temporarily increasing your muscle. Okay. AP cost. Doing things in combat like attacking and using combat items costs action points. Okay. I guess we'll find out more about this when uh, we actually battle. Tough customer. Ready. You're rough and tumble. Rowdy and ready to rumble. Okay then. This is a proper RPG here. Your brother Rufus is standing here, looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? <laughs> To help people, to seek my fortune, or to get off this stupid farm. I'm dead meat, David, damn it. I want to get off this stupid farm. Rufus, you know how much I hate it here. I can't stay. I've got to go where the action is. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. Oh, wow, you're so supportive, man. I'll miss you, Rufus. Nonetheless, give him a playful punch on the arm. Okay. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Go west, young man. Yep. Let's do this. It's gonna ride across the Great Plains. Oh, yeah. So far, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Although, I, f I have a feeling it's going to kill my voice since I'm going to be doing so much reading. I mean, I've played RPG with a lot of reading, but oh boy, I know this one's going to... This one's going to challenge me for sure. Stunt Coordinator, West Cleveland. Nice. What the heck? Boom operator? What do you mean? 
There's no boom operator here. 200 miles later. Okay. Oh, that's a long way. Dirt water, 300 miles. Okay, can we get off here? Thank you, random hitch man. Well, the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. Now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. It's time to go exploring. Okay, seriously, though. <laughs> this stupid walkie is so stupid. All right, let's just take it seriously for a second. Let's get a turnip. Nice. What is this? Increases your muscle, Mr. Callie, and Moxie by one for the rest of the day. All right. I don't know if I should use this right now, but sure. You just a turnip and eat it. Now you understand why people don't eat, tend to eat raw turnips. All right then. Hey you. How you doing? Dang it. Oh. Ah. It's a chunk of wood from the broken hitch, hitching post. Grab it. Oh man, we're getting all kinds of stuff here. Speak softly and carry a crude stick. Although it's weaker than my brass knuckles, so I won't use it. What the heck is this? What is this? Oh, okay. So this is just my status effects here. BS4C. A sign on door reads, gone drinking. Guess that was the guy we just saw? Oh, we just stepped in some poop. That's lovely. Howdy, y'all! As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the door, to the left of the door, shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, what's your hat, Dagnet? Well, where's your hat? Well, I can't drink in here without a hat. Ting proper. He takes to, he points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy-looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, er, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller, you? You hand west? If any of y'all want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just and let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. All right, then. Here's the feller we were just talking to. The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Howdy! <laughs> I'm dead meat! Howdy, dead meat! I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hoistler. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working for you? Oh, these horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Yep, me in here drinking instead of watching the horses probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. All right then. Let's see here, are we even allowed to drink? You already have a hat. What would you do with two? I don't know, don't tell me what to do, game. I'll take a hat if I want it. You walk up to the bar. Wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back while reading, reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Dead Meat. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, what are you usual? I came out west to make my fortune. Not, the, not much, not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already had more people in it than jobs. There's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirt Water. Oh, geez. Okay, what's Dirt Water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. He pauses for a few seconds, lost in thoughts. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. 
Okay, ask about the railroad. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Mission errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler is always needing help since he hurt his leg. That no account sheriff could certainly stand out somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. Okay, so we may be fighting, fighting our first enemy here. Liquid in this game is actually very powerful. It's just that it's here to kill fungi. Effective against goblins. Got it. Spit can. It's a spittoon. People spinning it. You know, without even looking at it, it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> yep, it's full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, the smell is horrible. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. I don't. I don't understand. What is wrong with you? Wait. Is something shining at the bottom? Get it. Reach your hand towards the platoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinkiness or stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit row at a Mesquite BBQ eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like gloop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your nastiness make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? Holy crap, okay, what is this? Though, is this, though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Probably. Alright, what's your plan here? These guys are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth in their hands to the how to play poker card game that came with their deck. Biting your lips and concentrating real hard. I don't have 20 meats, but yeah, let's just go. Oh yeah, let's talk to this guy. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kind of things. For instance, gazooks. Some yellow belly scab shingle poison the pickle barrel. Uh-huh. Pete take a swig of his whiskey. See you later, man. Alright, let's take care of the goblin. What do we have here? Pile of old newspapers. Got an item, Boring Springs Gazette. This is a copy of the Boring Springs newspaper from about six weeks ago. Okay, we can't read it. Holy crap. Create a nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails ya. Guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can race the top of the bar. The whiskey is too cheap for you to even consider drinking it. And given your legendary low standards, that's really saying something. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, dude. The goblin shouts, Breark? Let's do this. We got the jump on him this time. All right. So let's see here. Okay, typical RPG stuff. Skills. Uh, pistol attack. We don't even have a pistol, do we? Action beef up. Okay. Surrender. I don't even know if it's actually a good idea. Giving up is the same as losing. Alright. Uh, space attack. Yes. Attack! Yeah! Punch him in the throat. Alright then. Wait a minute, we should just do this, right? This will deal 25 damage to the target. Alright. Yeah, let's do this. Die, you vermin. Yeah. Victory. I'm a big man. That's what you get for messing with dead me, David. Wonder what would have happened if I just surrendered. Oh, well. Let's just complete this mission. 
Howdy, good to see you again, dead meat. Uh, wait a minute. It was a lady drinking whiskey out of that beer mug. That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Alright then. I just took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, dead meat. I knew you was a stand up feller the moment I met you in here. Or you walked in here. He reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go, it's the least I can do, by the way. Oh, thanks. Okay, gain 200 meat. Nice, thank you. Take your leave. Okay, so does she have anything to say? The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Uh, howdy, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he ain't, if you don't leave me in peace? Okay, bye-bye then. Alright, does she say the same thing? Yeah. I don't even know if I can save. Uh, who the heck? I see all kinds of things. For instance, by ginger, some side violent goblins sink my battleship. Okay. I don't even know if I can save. What the heck? Get out. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Wait a minute, can I get back in here? Yep. And, still got. What the heck? 200, yep. Alright guys, I think I'm just gonna take a break here. Man, I am exhausted after that. Holy crap, there's gonna be a lot of reading. So, uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be continuing this because this is a lot of reading, but... I'm enjoying this, this game so far. I mean, if you guys are enjoying it too, let me know. And I'll probably make more of this. But who knows, maybe this will be another David Hater Game and Plays Anything uh, type of video. And maybe this will be just one part. Or, it could be more, who knows. Let me know, guys, by just showing your support in the comments below and just leaving likes and stuff, alright? But I'm just going to take a break here, guys. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying this series so far. And if you are, then please leave a like to show your support and to let me know that you want more. Also, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments below. And let me know if you have any tips for me if you played this game before. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later, Gators.